What's up, YouTube? This is April, aka Ratio1731, with a co host on the phone, uh, Victor, and you are watching Voluptuous Diva TV. Okay, tonight I have a topic. Um, my, my, my topic is my definition of a home record. Uh, me and one of my friends um, were on the phone earlier today and uh, we were talking about I don't even know how it came up how did it come up anyway that's no you know there what I hate to see you come in the video and I'm talking but anyway he uh, he uh, she was uh, talking about um, relationships and marriage and uh, home records and I think that word home record is really misused because of the situ some of the situations that I have encountered. Not, you know, I'm not saying I'm one of the people, but friends that I've known that have gone through uh, talking to married men. And um, I think that the word home record is being used for a lot of females and not the right females. Because i give you an example. Let's say that you go out to the club. You chilling, minding your business, drinking with your girls. And this guy pops up. How you doing, Miss Lady? How's your night going? Can I buy you a drink? Now, he approached you like he got some sense. Okay? Immediately, that's an alert. Ooh, he might be somebody I want to talk to. Now, you look at his hands and you don't see no rings on those fingers. Not even an indention of a ring. And then talk to him. You converse for a, a couple of hours that night. You exchange numbers. The next day he calls you up. And he goes, well, let's go out to lunch. I ain't doing nothing. I just thought I would call you and ask you to go out for lunch. You go out to lunch in a public area. Okay? Let's skip on. Three, four months down the line, you and him dating. Okay? No, nothing's come up that this man is married. Nothing's come up he's got kids. None of that. You've been to this man's house. One of his houses. Okay? You don't see nothing around with nothing about being married. Bam, you get a phone call one night. Hello? Yes, is this Miss So-and-so? Yes. Who is this? Well, this is such and such and such and such his wife. Huh? He's not married. Oh, he's not. No, he's not married. Well, can we meet somewhere and have a distinctive conversation? Yes, we can. I don't see why, but sure. You go and talk to this this woman. This woman pulls out pictures of her and this guy together. She puts out a marriage license, a real one, with her name and his name. And then it gets all around town. And this girl is a homewrecker. She's a bitch. She's a slut. She's a whore. She's going to hell for fornicating. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that this situation is right. I'm not saying for everybody, excuse me, to go out. And go get a married man. No. I'm just saying that you have to look at the female situation too. Not just the fact that, that, that the wife is a victim. The mistress is a victim too. Okay. Because there's some females out there that do know that these men are married and don't care. My definition of, of, of a, a home wrecker is someone that knows that this person is married. Does not care that this person is married. Go to that person's house, knowing he has kids and has a wife. Calls that person's phone three, four, five times a day and night. Goes to the person's house and knocks on the mother freaking door like she's just like like it's no shame in her name. That is a definition of a home record. Stop using this word on innocent women that don't know these men are married. 
because you don't know what that what, what their conversation consists of when they take them home or when they go out and have dinner or something so stop calling every female a home wrecker because she dated a married man and she did not know now if that hooker knew then she a hooker if she knew she is a home wrecker if she knew then she's a, then she is a nasty gutter butt troll but if she didn't you know don't don't throw stones at her don't throw stones at her. And the reason why I, I made this video is because I've been sitting back and I've been thinking about what to talk about. And she brought it up. And I've had friends, like I said, have been through these situations where these guys come up to them and ask them out and they end up being married. And they get that they get the, 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 the crazy looks. Ooh, girl, so-and-so and so was talking to Deacon, so-and-so and so uh, so and so and so and so was talking to so and so. Girl, she a hoe. Ooh, girl, she a slut. I can't trust that bitch around my man. Stop doing it because you don't know the situation of how that became about. You don't know what he told her. Is it her fault she fell in love with this man? Is it her fault that this man told her things to make her smile and make her feel good? Is, is, it, is it her fault because she thought that she found a good man that God sent her this man and that she thought that this God sent her this God, is, God ain't going to send you no married man that's first and foremost he ain't going to send you no married man but that devil that devil going to send you a, a, anything that come in your path so don't keep giving these women labels if you don't know the situation just because you know that person doesn't mean she what you say she is because of what went on. You wasn't laying in bed with them too when he was whispering sweet nothings in her ear. So don't do that. I don't like people putting labels on stuff and you don't know what's going on. Because if because if, if, if the shoe was turned on the other foot and it was you, you would be living. Don't do that. Girl, it, and, and that, that, that's not just about marriage. That's with any relationship. If you got a girlfriend, let that be known. Don't sit up there and be like, ooh, baby, you fine. I'm single. I don't like when married men try to live the single life when you're not single. I don't like when single men try, um, well, men that are taking their relationships try to live the single life and you're not single. Because then again, people are dying, getting beat up, getting killed over dick and pussy. Come on. What? It's crazy. So don't put labels on stuff if you don't want labels on you. Because you don't know what the situation is about. Like I said, I'm not saying that it's right to be with a married man. I'm just saying don't put labels on stuff that you don't want labeled on you. If you don't know the situation, who are you to talk? Because probably while you talking bad about that other person, you probably fucking a married man your damn self. So don't sit up there and be like, oh, she nasty and this and this. And then your married man call you up, hey, shawty, can I meet you around the corner in 30 minutes? Because like I said, there's some men out here that don't give a damn about being married and will be out in the open. And there's so much to some to them. So you have to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is a sin to fornicate. Yes, it is a sin to, uh, uh, be with a married man and you took vows but also think about it too it's not just her it's him too especially the ones that know it that's why you need to be trying to point the finger don't, don't even point the finger at the, at the women that are doing it if you if you think it's bad talk to them don't point fingers because there's always one point right back honey but i just wanted to come at y'all with that little video and um, if you don't like my opinion, that's you. You can click that X button because um, I got an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. If you don't like my opinion, you can leave my channel. Um, don't leave the, uh, you can leave all the comments you want, but the question is, will I approve it <laughs> if it's a mess? But if it's on some real shit and y'all talking some real shit, I want to know what y'all think. Seriously, I want to know what y'all think about the whole laboring people thing because it's just, it's just a bunch of BS. So, love y'all. Have a wonderful night. Um, I might do another video. I don't know yet. I'm just depending on how I feel. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell everybody you know to a deacon, a preacher, a crackhead, or whoever. Love y'all. God bless. Good night.